All right, welcome to Talking to Air Traffic Control Part 2. In this video, we're going to clear a few things up from the last video, talk about some comments that you guys made, and show you a great new way to get comfortable on the comms. All this, coming up. All right, let's talk about the number one thing I got called out for in the last video, which was abbreviating your call sign. So my explanation before was correct, but I needed a little bit more information to be more accurate. When you contact air traffic control, you can abbreviate your call sign, but only after they do. Here's how it works. Written in the Aeronautical Information Manual, Chapter 4, Section 2, Area 4, Paragraph 2, it says, Air traffic control specialists may initiate abbreviated call signs of other aircraft by using the prefix and the last three digits or letters of the aircraft identification after communications are established. The pilot may use abbreviated call signs in subsequent contacts with air traffic control specialists. So don't abbreviate your call sign when you make contact with air traffic control until after they do. Now the correct way to abbreviate your call sign is to use your prefix followed by the last three of your tail number. The prefix being the letter N here in the United States. But in paragraph 3 of the same section of the AIM, we learn that you can drop the prefix and use your aircraft name or model. Which is why you hear Tower say Cessna 600 in the last video. Now many of you commented on me leaving out clearance delivery, so let's talk about that for just a minute. First off, what is it? Clearance delivery is the first port of contact when you want to depart from an airfield found in class B or C airspace. Its purpose is to provide a dedicated frequency for departures, so air traffic control is freed up to control traffic. For a VFR pilot, contacting them is just the same as contacting ground in our last video, except they'll give you a heading and altitude information for your departure. We have to confirm it to them, so it's a good idea to write it down. So why didn't I include this in my last video? Well, when I was making it, it was designed around Class D airspace, which doesn't have clearance delivery. That, and we were trying to stick to the basics. Another good comment from a viewer was to avoid using the words 4 and 2 in your transmissions. And they're right. It's a bad habit to get into because they can sound like you're saying numbers. When I started communicating, I would say 4600 to close my transmissions, which sounds a lot like 4600 over the radio. This was a terrible habit that I got into, and it took me a good portion of my training to get over it. But there are stages of communications where we still need to use these words, like when we say ready to taxi or ready for departure. Just make sure you're not adding these words around other numbers like I did, or you could get corrected by air traffic control. Just remember, short, concise communication is what we're looking for. On that note, let's talk about our last viewer recommendation. Speak at a comfortable speed. You may have noticed in the last video that controllers talk fast, but just because they do doesn't mean that you have to. You see, the information you give them has to be heard, understood, and documented. You may think that by talking fast, you sound like you know what you're doing, but it can keep air traffic control from getting the information they need to do their job. If they don't catch all the details they need the first time, they'll ask you to repeat the call or verify what they missed. This leads you to occupying more time on the radio than you would have if you just slowed down in the first place. Now, remember what I said in the last video about practicing? Well, we got a lot of great comments on it, especially when we recommended saying things out loud. This really does help you articulate what you're trying to say and gets things into muscle memory. It also keeps you from freezing on the radio or saying something silly. So I'll say it one more time. Practicing what you want to say out loud is invaluable. This leads into another comment from a viewer recommending that I make an app to teach people how to talk on the radio. Well, I'm just not that good at programming, but I found a company who is and has made an app called Plain English. First thing, they're not sponsoring this video. When I found out about the app from a friend, I contacted them to see if they would tell me more about it. They gave us a trial key to check it out, and I was immediately impressed. They've created a comprehensive app that really helps you know how to talk on the radio. When I mean comprehensive, I really mean it. It covers contacting ground, tower, and even centers for flight following. The dialogues are complete too, so you can practice all three parts of communication. It also listens to what you say and grades it to help you hone your communication skills. It's actually a really powerful tool that can help teach you the right way to talk on the radio. Now I wanted to show you how the app works, so I've enlisted Tiffany to give it a try. She's just in the beginning of her pilot training and is still a little nervous about talking on the radio. So she's the perfect candidate. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So it's plain English. Go ahead and open it up. Okay. All right. 
So it's breaking down into different sections here. Do try taxi out. Okay. Lesson one. Okay. All right, so just real brief so you know what's going on. Down here, you'll see that uh, it's telling you where you are, what airport you're at. Okay. Call signs up here. Uh, what ATIS report is up here. So when you're ready, go ahead and hit that little microphone button. And then when you're done, hit it again and it'll give you a grade. Okay. Des Moines ground request clearance to taxi Archer 915 GU information W. Oh, I did not like how what I said. Oh, it's because I said G and U, isn't it? Yeah, hit that right there. Yep, shows you what you uh, missed. Golf. Hit OK here. Okay. And what you can do is click that RES button down there. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. That's what you're supposed to say. Okay. So I'm at, okay, I'm at GA parking. Gotcha. Yep. Go ahead and try again. You can just read it from there. It helps you practice. Des Moines Ground Archer 915 Golf Uniform at GA Parking, ready to taxi with whiskey. Ooh, really close. Okay. You did good, so let's go ahead and move on. So before, when you hit that little arrow down there, it's gonna give you a response that you have to listen to and respond back to. Okay. Archer 5 Golf Uniform, Des Moines Ground, taxi to runway five. Via Papa, cross runway tree one. Go ahead and hit the RES down there again. It's gonna show us what we need to say again, okay. just so we can practice. Okay, so it is runway three one. Mm -hmm. Taxi to runway five via Papa, cross runway 31 Archer five golf uniform. Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish this one. Go ahead and hit that arrow. And it shows you how you did an overall score. So, it doesn't think you're speaking fast enough. Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably true. I don't really know what I'm saying yet. So. <laughs> All right. Haven't practiced a lot yet. Let's go try another one. Okay. Okay. You got this. Go for it. Gateway Ground, Cirrus 92437 at GA Terminal, ready to taxi with whiskey. Ooh. Perfect, see? Yeah. Nice. So you can see that in the short time that we sat down together, she really started to figure things out, and it's a big confidence booster to her too. Now, because I'm impressed and see the value inside of this tool, I talked plain English into helping our viewers out who wanted to use the app. So if you want to use it, use the code FWTG when you sign up, which obviously stands for Fly With The Guys. But if you do, you'll get a discount on their services. I left a link to the app in both Android and iPhone inside the description, so make sure to check that out. All right, that should clear a few things up about talking on the radio and give you a great new way to practice. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and consider subscribing to see what we're doing next. Also, if you like the shirt I'm wearing, you can check out the description below for a link to where you can get one for where you fly. Shout out to Wild Blue Gear for sending this our way. We think it's really cool. As always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.